What's up, YouTube? It's your man A Rock coming at you way too real. Um, doing another jump off for the baseball edition. Um, you guys seen this one before? This is my uh, Detroit Tigers Willie Horton joint. This is one of my favorite uh, jackets. First off, it's the Mitchell Ness uh, big uh, wool joint. You know, you got the uh, NBA logo on the sleeve. I love this. I love this D right here embroidered on here. And uh, there's nothing on the back, uh, but it's an inside out joint. It has, if you put it together, it has Detroit going across. But I don't rock that orange like that. Uh, this was a real hard piece to put together, but hey, you know, I do what I do. Um, we're coming off with the uh, uh, New Era Detroit Tigers joint, you know what I mean? Fitted. And then uh, the Willie Horton jersey, let's get into it. We got the 19, uh, the 1776 to uh, 19, uh, the 1776 to uh, 1976 Detroit patch there. Um, we got Detroit very simply single uh, double stitch across the top, and then uh, on back. Um, that's Willie Horton uh, single stitched on there without a nameplate, and then the the, uh, the numbers double stitched. And uh, we're gonna show the jock tags. 1976 jump off. Um, real hard to get your hands on something like this. Real hard, hard to you know get your swag on like this. Real hard to get your fly on like this. But hey, you know it is what it is. Somebody gotta do it. You dig? So, damn, it's hot up in here. I had that wool jacket on. So, for the rest of this video, I'm gonna go outside and do the rest of it. So, um, you got to chill. What's up, YouTube? I know I told y'all I was gonna finish the rest of this video outside, but it's too damn hot to, for me to show you what I was gonna show you. Obviously, I gotta throw the jacket in there, and it's, it's like a hundred out there. You dig? So, I'm just gonna show you the woolly court and white jersey. Um, you got the D single stitched. And then you got the, uh, the jock tag with the, uh, the blue banner on there. Notice something about the jock tag is that it's closer to the, to the button line. You know, most of the time you have the uh, jock tag usually over here. These are the older ones, and uh, that's how they made it, closer over to the button line. You got the same um, centennial style patch, the 76, uh, 1776 to uh, 1976 Detroit joint. And then... You got on the back the uh, really important single stitched on there. For swag purposes, we go on with the uh, the Carl Banks uh, polyester joint. Um, it's got the D single stitched on or embroidered on the front, and then the uh, the nice little M and M candy shaped buttons. And then uh, on the sleeves, we got. 84 World Series patch. I believe that's a 1968. You don't see the number there. But the uh, reason I'm getting to that assumption is because on the back, you got the World Series joints, 84, 45, 68, and 1935, all either double stitched or embroidered on. Um, then you got the uh, World Series patch for 1945 and 1935 there. And then last but not least, to finish it off, you got the new era fitted Detroit uh, classic D hat. I'm gonna show you what that all looks that on together. So, this is it, joint swagged out. You got the, the jersey, the jacket. You know what else? What more can I say? It's your man A Rock. Like I said, I'm gonna continue making these videos. Continue bringing you guys that dope ish. And uh, that's all I got for now. Um, about to go see the Dark Knight real quick. I'm just uh, watching this Batman Begins before I got up in it because uh, I hear it ties into the original joint. It's your man A Rock. Wait for the next video. Um, still got Luis the Greek on the scene. Babusha trying to make appearances up in here. You never know what to expect. It's West Coast.